she hey, is. Hey, hello. Hi. How you doing? Hi, Oh. Tilly's living her best, best life. life right now. Right. Yeah. I love it. Oh, and a bunny. Wait, chocolate bunny. Yay. Where did the Where did the ears go? Did you eat its face? In Tilly's little mouth. <laughs> yes, ears. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Is white chocolate yummy? Mm hmm. Mm. I just made hot cross buns. Mm. Oh. They look like they look like hot cross piles of something. <laughs> <laughs> I bought. <one>. I, <laughs> and you guys are doing all right. Yeah. 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 Like the um. It's, um I, I'm probably working what might seem like a bit too much. Um, yeah. But we just, like the whole, when everything hit, when everything like started, you know, shutting down and locking down and everything, um, I, I kind of crumpled because I was like, oh no, our entire business model has just been rendered useless. But... Um, ring, 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 ring. <laughs> um, but then it was like a little bell started dinging going, hang on, remember why you started doing this in the first place, which was to encourage kids to do arts and crafts and support my local community. And um, now they're all stuck at home. And now they're all stuck at home. And so they yeah. have access to the materials and, and things that, that we were providing them with and even what they could get at school. Um, because a lot of them were being yeah. so it just kind of made sense to um, start sending out stuff they could do at home by themselves. So for people that don't know about Rascal Robot, then let, like let's go back to the beginning. So mm. you said the the bells rang about what it was about. Mm. What did create the idea? You have to. Yeah. Um, so we. Yeah. We had been doing um, workshops with the Beaconsfield Child and Family Centre, and yeah. then that now, flowed onto sugar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then that flowed onto um, doing a similar kind of project around mark making um, with the Beaconsfield Primary School for their library. Yeah, and, um, and I just I met all these amazing little kids that had yeah you can go. I had met all these amazing local kids that had all these in, incredible talents and um, and their parents were all so excited that, you know, a professional artist was working with their children and, and they all had so much fun that I was just like, well, we should do this all the time. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm yeah. I'm yeah. And a lot of the it. parents, yeah, were requesting it. Like, do you do lessons? Can you, can you help my I daughter? Dummy. Yeah. Great. My daughter or son get better at, at drawing or whatever. Um, so yeah, we I kind of got together with um, with a couple of friends uh, who also have children at the primary school and at the child and family center, and and just said, yeah, we should do this. We should make it a community based organization that um, is about yeah giving kids access to professional arts practice and professional materials, and um, and also showing them that the path to art is through craftsmanship so you go, it's going to look like craft sometimes every second adult you speak to says oh i don't have an artistic bone in my body what? and uh, I, I have to choke back the yeah you do yeah you do, <laughs> yeah, you, do. you just haven't found your medium everyone's got a medium yeah 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 absolutely absolutely and it's about all of our bones are artistic but it's about taking back the layers of i can't and i shouldn't and what if, what yeah. if it doesn't go right or you know that whole yeah. Whether it's in professional life or creative life, that fear of failure, just yeah. going for it and seeing what happens. A bit like my fruit buns. <laughs> <They're> very, <laughs> so Dave's, Dave's compliment when I'm in the kitchen is, that's very creative. Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're like, actually like a qualified furniture designer, yeah. but it's fruit buns. <laughs> <laughs> but, not, but not qualified in the kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> like, so I, I like... My family knows that if I'm ever making tasty things in the kitchen, like desserts and cakes and stuff, is that they're going to look like 
a pile of rubbish, yeah. but they're going to taste amazing. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Um, awesome. Does <laughs> mum make yummy food? Bubbles. Do I make yummy food? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Awesome. Mm-hmm. And what about the cool place that you've got? You're in such a cool building yeah. in Beaconsfield. Yeah. My- yeah, Jenny, Jenny, Jenny wants to talk about the goat house. <gasps> Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> hey, Tilly, when you think of the goat house, what's the first thing that you think about? What's cool at the goat house? Goat house. What do you like to do? Goat house. Hide out there. Hide it is, house. isn't it? Yeah, you like to go and feed the goats, don't you? Uh-huh. Yeah. But what else yeah, do you nice. do there? Do you get to play with yeah. drawings? The, so, the, yeah, the building is kind of amazing. Like, it's it was built in 1900. Um, wow. And for the most part, it's still the original building. There's a few floorboard sections that have been replaced. Um, and a couple of these huge wooden pillars in the middle of the room are not the original ones, but four out of the six of them are. So it's kind of, wow. full of it's full of like history and um, and character. Like it's mm. got character just oozing out of it. Um, yeah. And um, and it's just like even from day one when we moved in a few chunks of furniture, and and then just kind of sat there and went, hey, we're in. It was like. It just had a really, really good vibe. It felt like home straight away. Yeah, it did yeah. feel like home straight away. And and like what? Jackie and Beverly, who um, who own the building and live upstairs, are just amazing. And they've got like a little permaculture farm going on in the backyard with goats and sheep and chickens. Mm. And so all the kids love going to um to visit them and and feed them handfuls of grass. If we're waiting for if stuff, we're waiting to dry. for stuff to dry or something. Yeah. 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 How cool is that? I know the couple of times when I've visited, it has felt really sort of comfortable straight up. And as yeah. you arrive, it's like that sense of oh, it is treasured and old, but it's also yeah. fun with your branding out on the street. Yeah. But yeah. You you mentioned the food. The effort, the treasures that have been gifted to the centre as well from down the road. Yeah. You've had yeah. lots of sort of help to set up. Yeah, yeah. Like the community has just embraced us so um, phenomenally back well. Um, yeah. And um, we got, yeah, we got all of the furniture, like all the chairs and tables were all donated from the tip shop or the um, or Tamar Treasures just down the road. Um, Most yeah. of it was from Tamar Treasures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we just like cleaned everything up and spray painted it in bright colours. <laughs> um, That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It was a really fun, um, really fun project doing out here on the veranda at home. And then, um, you know, we got uh, who we got a tailor who was moving to Western Australia um, who had retired and she just donated like, I don't even know how much fabric. A lot. It's wow. all, all of the things that she donated and a huge piece of, um, of antique furniture in the form of a um, sewing table with like a fold down side. Oh, wow. um, yeah, cool. she donated all of it to us. Like it filled a, an eye load. Basically. There was a small had- be associated with it. She taught my mum how to sew. She's an old family friend. She, she's my grandmother's oh, wow. best yeah. friend. And I said, you could come on down and, te- and teach the kids how to do, how to do textile work if you if you wanted to and she said i would have loved that but i'm moving to wa yeah so it never yeah, happened well. but, yeah. but she still uh, she left, left a mark it's an epic amount of fabric yeah 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 that's really cool and there have been lots of other people in the community as well dropping off little bags of goodies and oh, things yeah. that they've found in their shelves and yeah. it's, I, I love that's what i love when i keep hearing how the story evolves i just love how connected and generous the community have been around it yeah and it's it's kind of nice um to have that there in the background to know that even though we can't actually see the community at the moment face to face like we were they're all still there and they're all still cheering for us and um i noticed someone who shared our page on the great regional cities challenge last night and um yeah that was really awesome to know that um that they're still, you know, supporting us to support them and their kids. 
Um, mm. And so right at the beginning, when we started to talk, um, I know that you were just about to open and have the official opening just as oh. things started to sort of close down. Yeah. But you've evolved yeah. and now you're sending out, I've been watching you, um, you know, send out packs yeah. and reconnect in a different way. So tell me how that's all working. Well, um, yeah. so when the, um, when the term had to finish early, I felt really bad that there was a whole bunch of kids who had been coming for classes and, and like we couldn't send them their projects that they'd been working on because it was like um, plaster and, and things yeah. that they probably yeah, yeah. Um, wouldn't be able to do at home by themselves. Um, and so I just made them up some little packs of like origami paper, like really fancy Japanese rice paper. I love origami. And, yeah, 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 it was really fun. Um, and putting together some printouts of, of projects, like of things they could make with it, including like those little chatter boxes. I love those things. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah, cool. So yeah, we sent we sent that out, and and I also sent out a little like eight page zine that folds from a single A4 sheet of paper, um, and instructions on how to do one for themselves, um, and then cool. just some, some stickers and and just some fun things for them to kind of play with, and um, and I was like, oh, this is really fun. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, and then turn into the um, same thing. So yeah, so now I'm sending out a box or an envelope every month. Um, and I've just sent out the first 20. Wow, um, cool. Uh, yeah, it's been pretty great, um, the mm. response to it, including um, uh, now we have our first interstate rascals. Um, wow. Yeah, so Yay. One in New South Wales Big one things happen from Beaconsfield. I know. I know. <laughs> it's really awesome. So, and beauty point. Yeah, and beauty that's right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so now it's become about um, planning, uh, like, you know, playing around with projects at home and in the studio that, you know, can we send this out? Will this work? It has required a little bit of, um, like, the financial outlay has been a bit of a tricky part because yep. we can't just have one bucket of supplies that everybody uses when they come to the studio. We actually have to send out individual packs of yeah. supplies that they'll need to complete a project. Um, so we've had to shift a little bit and start thinking about, well, can we get this from a wholesaler um, rather than retailers? Um, but I gotta tell you, like shiploads, spotlight, <laughs> They're full yeah. of treasure if you know where to look. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And did I see, was it, was it last night or the night before, did I see that you've actually had adults engaging as well? So where initially it was around young people and community, you had a few adult packs that you sent out? Uh, yeah. we, we haven't yeah. sent any yet. I the just grown -ups wanted to... And the grown-ups have said, what about us? Yeah, we, yeah. We, we yeah. want to do stuff too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I haven't done any yet, but, um, but it's, you know, Dan looked at me this morning and... Um, and was like, you've got something big on your mind. And I'm like, yeah, adult packs. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. And Dan, I've seen some of your lives in the morning. You've been doing um, some carving or some weaving and you've been doing some live sessions. How's that all going? Yeah, have good, a bunch? good. Yeah, I have a whole bunch of walnut. Um, one of our, one of yeah, our neighbours gifted us a fallen tree. And so I've, wow. been, I've got a lot of material. And when I have a lot of material, I... I get extra driven to, to make. But I, I think yeah, it's important cool. if you're going to be teaching people how to do stuff to prove that you can actually do stuff as well. So um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just keeping my hand in. I um, Yeah. It's, I, I miss the classes um, and, the, and that feedback. It's the thing at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, with the happy little faces. That's the, that's the thing we've been missing. Just yeah. their happy little faces when they realise yeah. oh, I, can, I can do a thing I didn't realise I could do. Yeah. Uh, but they said yeah. parents send them photos of proud little faces. Oh, yeah. Completed projects. So, yeah, I've started getting photos now of, um, of people after they've gotten their first boxes and they've done their first projects and I'm getting these proud little, like, look at me, look what I did. <laughs> That's um, cool. Yeah, because we've, really cool. we've been recording videos and posting them on YouTube for, um, like, a how-to if you're a visual learner, um, to accompany okay. the written instructions as well. Yeah, nice. So um, I'm all about putting links into cool stuff at the moment. So when we post this, look, I haven't, I don't know that I've noticed the YouTube channel. So I'm going to go and check that out. Yeah. Um, um, it's 
it's pretty fun. Yeah. It's it's very fun because we got Ginger <laughs> and cool. Lily helping us out as well. <laughs> what I have loved is was it uh, a couple of days ago I saw you playing around with the Rascal Robot voice. <laughs> like, what does Rascal Robot sound like? Like, you guys have I, I have fun watching your stuff. Like, I think it's important to watch it because I know what's going on. But actually, personally, it puts a smile on my face when I see you guys at work. <laughs> it was just like. Honestly, the, the four of us have had so much fun recording these videos. And there is actually one that I got, um, Danielle, uh, my, my vice chair, my right hand, um, and her yeah. little six-year-old daughter, Millie, to record one for the kind of um, three to six-year-old age group, one of their projects. Yep. And yep. Dan watched it and was like, it's about as cute as a bucket of buttons. <laughs> like, it's yeah, so wow. adorable. <laughs> Is that on YouTube or is that on Facebook? Yeah. No, it's on YouTube. Right. So, yeah. Excellent. I'm going to go and check that one out. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Just, hey. Just people, yeah. Our Russell yeah, Robert nice. We'll be on YouTube. Yeah. But it's thanks for jumping on and having a chat. I love catching up with you guys. And what you said, what you said um, just then about seeing proud faces or seeing smiling faces, what I'm loving about Zoom and Skype and Teams and all of those things that people are doing is we get to see each other. It's yeah, like, you know, yeah. it, it is a really cool medium and a great way to catch up. Yeah, we have actually just planned our first Zoom drinks um, with Scott oh, Jones yeah, nice. to celebrate the end of his examiner career yeah. and, and celebrate his... Um, his, move, his new move. New, yeah, some new adventures. So How blessed it'll be is our Giles? First, yeah, yeah. Um, it'll be our yeah. first Zoom socialising. <laughs> Great. I love it. Well, have a drink for me. Well done. Thank you, Scott. Um, thank you, you guys, for jumping in and having a chat. And I'm super keen because you recorded this and you're going to download it and add some, like, little magic. Yeah. I can't wait to see what happens. I will. And I will, okay. I will shoot it over to you. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Have an awesome day. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye, Jenny. Bye, Bye. Bye. Bye Tilly. Bye. 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 Bye.